Um, my name is Hannah Joe. First off, how was the Bahamas? Tell us about it. I mean, uh, we had a lot of great times. Uh, the pool is nice. The weather's nice. Just the whole scenery is really nice. Nice. Well, Taylor, congratulations on the championship. What does it mean to, uh, early in the season to go down into the Bahamas and uh, come home with the trophy? I mean, it definitely means we're heading in the right direction, you know, winning championships. But, you know, this, is not, this, is, this isn't the only championship that we want to win. So. Taylor, this is a team in Santa Clara that came into the game averaging about 76 points a game. You held them to 50. You've been talking about it, the defense. Expand on that, what we saw tonight. I mean, that's our brand of basketball. You know, we locked in on the scout. And uh, one of their players uh, averaging, um, you know, over 25 points a game. And, you know, we really locked in on him. And he only had four tonight, I believe. So, you know, just listening to the scout and listening to the coach, stuff like that. Taylor, speak to how this team responded after all, an overtime game, a great battle with Oklahoma State. And then two days later, you bounce back strong defensively. How you all felt going into this game? I mean, we felt really good. You know, the overtime win was, uh, it was really good for us. And, um, you know, we uh, used a lot of the things that we learned from the game to, you know, um, come out better in this game. Taylor, did, did it kind of feel like this was an all-around performance from everyone, especially when C.J. Walker couldn't go? He had, you know, guys making contributions. How, how did that feel tonight? I mean, uh, I mean, it definitely was an all-around, you know. Having Silla come off the bench and uh, give us some quick points, you know, that really helped. And then having Ty and play uh, more minutes than uh, normal and then producing, uh, you know, it was definitely helpful. What about those guys on that double dunk? Man, I was, I don't even know who, who got the points for that because that, that was insane. I think that was, was that time? Yeah. It should have been time, but they gave it to Scylla, I think. Yes, yeah, uh -oh. they gave it to Scylla. I don't know why they called the tech for that, though. He was literally <laughs> on top of each other. Have you ever seen anything like that? No, I don't, definitely not in person. Maybe on Instagram or something. What have you learned about yourself here going through college basketball the first couple of weeks? And what have you learned about your team? Uh, about myself, you know, I just got to um, take what the offense gives me and, um, you know, just play patient. Like, there's no reason to rush. And what I've learned about my team is, um, you know, when we play our brand of basketball, like, we're a really tough team to beat. Expand on that. Talk about, you know, when you play your brand of basketball, how is this team coming together? I obviously had a tough opener, double overtime that you drop. You know, you played well in that game, and, and you guys have been on fire ever since. Is this, how is this team, you know, learning to play with each other on the court? I mean, uh, you know, they're definitely like, you know, playing those types of games. Uh, we get used to each other. And then Coach putting out different lineups. We get used to playing with uh, different people on the court. So, you know, it just all helps us. You know, it's still the early on in the season, so we're only going to get better from here. For you personally, what's the adjustment been like going from high school to college ball? Uh, it's definitely a more physical game. Uh, you got to play a lot smarter. And, um, yeah, those, those are pretty much the, the two main things. You talked about playing with other guys. It seems like you guys have really great chemistry. Have you been fitting in with your teammates and with your coach? I mean, I definitely love those guys. Like, you know, if you, they feel like brothers to me. And, uh, you know, coach, uh, I've been had a good relationship with all the coach staff since, you know, they've been recruiting me. So, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been great. You guys had uh, Shane Battier speak to you, I believe, uh, uh, yesterday. What was that like? What did he say to your team? What was the message? Uh, the message was really all about mindset and, uh, you know, staying focused and on. And when we're in the game, you know, being aware of certain things. What did, know, these what did these games and these wins in the Bahamas do for the confidence of this team as you come home? I mean, it definitely gives us a, a lot more confidence, but, you know, we're never satisfied. You know, we need these types of wins to – build our resume for the, for the tournament. So. so after spending the last few days in the Bahamas in a beautiful resort, uh, what is your favorite thing? Uh, what was your favorite thing that you did uh, down in the Bahamas? Uh, I would other, say the, other than, than winning a championship. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely say go to the beach. Cause I don't really go to the beach that often. So, you know, going to the Bahamas beach, it was really nice. Another uh, just hard court game. Uh, we beat a good basketball team tonight. Uh, they were averaging 76 points a game coming into the night. And uh, to hold them to 50 uh, takes an unbelievable effort. I thought we did a great job on, on their scores and their main shooter at the guard spot. Uh, you know, guys were really focused and locked in. We spent a lot of time in trying to develop a scheme to make sure that uh, we could slow him down. But our guys did a great job of following the game plan. And it was a terrific team win. 
you talked about uh, shutting down their leading score. I think he was averaging 24 points. I mean, he didn't just, he only scored four points. So what did you guys do well that uh, limited his offensive game tonight? Well, I think our concentration was really good. I mean, we knew that he was a threat and we knew that if he played the way he had been playing, it's going to be very difficult to beat them because he, he's, he's an NBA caliber guard. I mean, he can score. He averages eight or nine rebounds a game, shooting 45% from three. So, you know, we, we respected his game a great deal. And I think in talking about him and just having our guys understand the importance of kind of slow him down, you not usually don't stop a guy like that. You're just trying to slow him down. And uh, I thought our guys really were locked in. Their concentration was at a high level. And we were able to kind of slow him down, which gave us a, a better chance at winning. Coach Taylor earns the MVP for this tournament. What is it like to coach him? How has his transition been from high school to college? Uh, he's been he's been great to coach, as I said earlier, and mainly because you know he, he's a great listener. He's coachable. He wants to learn, and uh, he's like I said, he's very skilled. I mean, he can score inside, he can score outside. He, you know, defensively, you can guard multiple positions. Uh, so he's he's a piece that that is unique, you know, in college basketball. And so uh, just trying to find ways to put him in position to be successful out there. And to his credit, you know, he's, he's played well. And, and I think the best basketball is still ahead of him. Coach, uh, Freeman was fantastic. 9.7 boards plus 14. And he always brings that energy that you talk about about him. He was such a difference maker. Speak to having him and, and counting on him when the chips are down, like tonight where you needed more from him with obviously CJ not available. You know, he was a great spark for us. You know, he had been practicing very well. And then he got injured, and he missed about three weeks straight right before we started the season, of course. And that that kind of derailed him a little bit, slowed him down. So he's still rounding into the player he's going to become. You know, this is kind of glimpses of what we were seeing this summer and in the fall, which you saw right, you know, today. So I think he's still going to continue to grow and get better as, as, he, as each game, you know, goes by as he gets his rhythm. But I'm really happy for him. It was a great team win. And he gave us a great spark off the bench. Coach, uh, what is CJ's status? Do we understand he maybe tweaked something in pregame? Uh, what happened? Yeah, he did. He tweaked it at Oklahoma State game. And, uh, you know, and so then we tried to rest and recover and treatment as many times as we could uh, before we practiced the next day. I uh, still, you know, it still was, you know, really, really sore. And so, uh, then, you know, treated him. It's, got, it's gotten better, of course. But then even today when we had to shoot around, he still was not, you know, he wasn't able to go. And so we're not going to put a young man out on the court in that kind of situation. It's better for him to get healthy, which he will. It's not nothing, you know, that other than just rest and, and treatment and recovery, he should be fine. So we just keep on working with him and uh, get him back as soon as we can. Coach, the, uh, the threes fell in the first half. That really helped your offensive game in that first half. You know, it did. I think both teams, was like I said, were having defensive masterpieces. And then, you know, we started making a few threes. We weren't really making too many other shots, but we were making the three ball. And I think that kind of, you know, opened up the lead a little bit, nine-point lead at halftime. And, uh, you know, seeing that ball going was good for some of our guys because that gave them confidence, I think, in the second half to play a little freer. Coach, what can a win like this uh, in a tournament format, playing two quality programs, especially as you look to for this team to build chemistry and a lot of new faces? Uh, what does a what does a championship like this mean for for this ball club? Well, I think it's huge because you know you always you know very few teams have an opportunity to play for a championship, to even play for one. So to have that opportunity to play in this environment at a neutral site against quality opponents, uh, terrific coaches, I think it just gives your team. You know, you know, more confidence and, and show what they're capable of doing. Because now when you during the season, you're in these situations, you've already experienced it. So you kind of know what you need to do to be successful in them. So, you know, it's one thing to plan it. But then after you win the championship, you know, that's even better. That's even a bonus for us. So our guys, I thought they did a great job. I think they'll grow from this experience of learning how to win in this type of environment, how to win against these kind of opponents. And uh, we'll carry it forward. Your defense was playing man-to-man -man switching a lot. As opposed to other schemes, how was that successful for you tonight? Uh, I thought it was good for us. I mean, they have so many weapons. They have, you know, they have, you know, one terrific score, of course, but they have guys that can score inside. They have other shooters on the team. Several of their players are 40% three-point shooters besides number 22. So, uh, you know, you really have to be locked in and focused on, on, on who are the shooters, aware of where they were. And in the post, we had to guard in the post, you know, we had to be strong in there and, and I thought our guys did do that, but we took away the three ball from them, which they're very good at. And we didn't let them get anything easy around the basket, you know, and that's the two things we really tried to concentrate on. And I thought for the most part, we did a good job of that. 
Coach, obviously you talked about the experience of playing in the Bahamas for your, your players and joining that experience. Saturday, I guess you had Shane Battier uh, speak to the team. Uh, I know, take us through that and what did he deliver the message to your players? You know, he was amazing. I mean, he was an inspiration. It wasn't just basketball. It was about life and being successful in life. And, uh, you know, we talked about basketball from the standpoint of, you know, how, how to become successful. You know, you're judged on one thing in the sport, and that's winning. And so he was the ultimate winner. So he kind of talked about winning and a winning mindset and, uh, you know, and, and just leaving everything out there on the court and not just, you know, holding anything back and not pacing yourselves when you go out and play. And uh, I think those guys took it to heart. I thought he did a great job. I think he inspired a lot of our guys with his, with his, uh, his speech. And then they asked him a lot of questions. You know, they had a chance to ask him a lot of questions. He was gracious enough to take in questions. And I, and I had to stop everybody because they were going to keep going. I'm like, you know, he's on vacation, right? Because this wasn't planned. He was on vacation. So I'm like, look, let me get back. Your wife is waiting for you at the beach. So we have to get him out of here. But he was good. He was great. Uh, very inspirational. And uh, talked about just mindset. Talked about, you know, being a champion and how to win. Coach, how do you hope to build on winning a trophy here in the early part of the season for the confidence and the chemistry of this team? What will this championship mean now? Uh, I think it's always great for our, for our, for our program uh, to know we can be in these situations and we can be successful. It's great for our young men, like I said, to have this type of success uh, in, in, a, in a mini tournament like this. This helps you as you move forward because you're going to be in other tournaments and situations. And uh, I think you have a... You have a uh, you know, kind of a little bit of a roadmap of what you have to do, how you prepare, how hard you have to play, you know, quick turnarounds between games, all the things that are a little bit unique from the regular season. So uh, I think our guys will learn from that. And our staff, we're growing. You know, I thought our staff did a great job with preparation. I thought we were ready for, you know, what we faced, that there were not many surprises with other teams doing. But our staff was amazing. And, uh, and so I just really think that we all got better from this experience. Does that trophy get a good spot on the return flight? <laughs> yes, it will. It, it'll take a first class seat. <laughs> you know, we're no, it's, it's great. And uh, then we'll put it, you know, put it in, you know, our arena or, or in one of our offices. But uh, it's great to, to, to be a champion. And our guys, well, that's something that they'll be able to have for the rest of their life. Like these are the memories that you create for young people. You know, for the rest of their lives, they'll always remember coming down here to the Bahamas, you know, playing against a you know, really good field and winning a championship. They'll never forget this. And uh, that's, what, that's why sport is so great for these type of moments. Coach, I knew you said, uh, obviously, you'll never forget winning a championship in the Bahamas, but just how did you enjoy the last few days down there? Uh, did you and your staff, I know you're there to coach basketball. Did you have a little bit of R&R &R time? Uh, no, no, not me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you already know what I'm down here to do. And, did you uh, have any nice meals or anything? Or uh, You know, we had, a, we had a really good team meal last night. We took the whole team out to a, to a restaurant right here in the facility. We had a great meal with our guys, spent time fellowshipping with them. And uh, that was fun. That was probably, that's the only thing I did the entire time, just preparing for games. These games are coming quick. You have a lot of preparing to do after the first game, especially uh, with a turnaround of one day off. And that day you're spending all your time watching tape and, and you have practice. So you have to prepare for all of those things. So no, we just, we were really focused on what we wanted to do. And, uh, and I'm proud of our guys because they also stay focused. You know, there's a lot of times you can come here in a place like this, you can easily be distracted. I thought our guys were very mature in how they handled it. What have you learned about your team that you didn't know before the season started, considering all the adversity you've had with the injuries that we've talked about through five games, and they seem to have responded. What have you learned about this group? Well, you know, I really, I really like their grit. I really like their fight. I mean, you know, there are a lot of things you would want to, we can clean up for sure. But those two things, you know, from day one, I haven't questioned. They did their grit, their fight. You know, they've, they've shown a never give up attitude in games. And that's not just this, you know, this weekend. They've done that you know, in all of our games. And so, you know, you don't know about your team until then. And now, you know, that that, you know, it's, that I've seen it now, you know, through five games. So it's really, really, you know, proud of them for that. And we need to keep that going. What'd you think of the double dunk? <laughs> I know, right? The double dunk was, uh, you don't see that too often. I just, that just shows guys are very aggressive. They're pursuing basketballs. And I'd rather have that than nobody go up there. So uh, really, really happy that, that they were aggressive trying to make a play to help your team.